Welcome back to the course. We're still in lesson 3 and in this video we're going to cover mouse events. So mouse events aren't very different for, from keyboard events. They are mouse pressed and mouse released events, same as key pressed and key released. And there's one for mouse movement. So first we're going to cover the mouse pressed and mouse released event. Actually just the mouse pressed because they're actually the same. Because we're going to use states, let's first create a state for a left mouse pressed event. So up here where we have the states for buttons and events, let's create another another boolean variable. Let's call it left click. And at the start we set it to false. And we're going to do something different here. We're going to create a variable and when we're going to do a left click, we're going to increase that variable by one and output to the console. So let's make a place for variables before the game loop and we're going to have an integer, so a whole number, so end, and let's just name it clicks or number of clicks. And at the start we set it to zero because we have zero clicks. Now in the events part, we want to check for a left mouse pressed event. So the event type is SF double colon capital event double colon event again and then mouse button pressed. And now that we have a mouse event, we want to check what button it is. So we do an AND, double AND signs, and then we do an event dot mouse button. So event dot mouse button dot button. So with this, we get the button that has been pressed. And we compare it to SF double column, mouse, double column again, and then we have the left, middle, and right button. And we want to check if it's the left button. So if this event, event happened, we want to set, what's it called again, left click to true. And that's the event for left, mouse, click or mouse button pressed. Down in the events, in the logic part, we want to write the logic for what we do when the left mouse button is pressed. I'm going to take out the space printout because they are only cluttered the console. So I'm going to delete that part of the code. Now let's go to the mouse click event. So we do an if left click is equal to true And if that event happened, we first want to increase the number, the number of clicks by one. And we can do that by writing number of clicks plus plus and a semicolon. This is equivalent of writing number of clicks is equal to number of clicks. plus one. So the plus plus is just a shortcut to increase the variable by one. And then we print out to the console. So we do an std double colon c out left equivalent. And now we want to print out first a text which says number of clicks is and then we end it the string or text, add another equivalent, and then we add the name of the variable we want to print out, and that is number of clicks. Number of clicks. And then we do another left equivalent to add a new line. So a string backslash n for a new line. And after we have printed out the console, we want to set left click 
to false so we don't repeat this statement in the next frame so we wait for another left click event and if we run this we still have our A pressed and A released event but when we do a left click it says number of clicks is 1 As we do a few more and the number increases also you have to make sure that you click inside the window so let's close the window and let's take a look at the mouse moved event now the mouse moved event is used when we want to get the X and Y position of the mouse we haven't talked about rendering yet but we're going to do that in the next lesson so for now let's just take for granted that there's an X and Y position and we want to print them out and if we want to print them out we certainly want to have variables where we store the mouse position so we're going to create two variables both are going to be type int so a whole number and let's just name them mouse x and mouse y this is how we can declare multiple variables of the same type by using a common So the event type for a mouse movement, so we do an if statement and then we compare the event type, type to sf double colon capital event double colon again and mouse moved. Make sure that it's mouse move moved and not mouse move because mouse move is used to get the X and Y position. So we don't have to do any additional checks because we don't really have, if we move the mouse, maybe move the mouse, there's no additional buttons or keys. So we just have to check if the event type is mouse moved. And now we want to store the X and Y position of the mouse into the two variables we created before. That's mouse X and mouse Y. So let's first set the x. So into mouse x, the variable we created before, we want to store the x position of the mouse. And we get it by going to event dot mouse move dot x. And it goes the same for the y position. Mouse y is equal to event dot mouse move mouse move dot y. And now we have stored when the event happens the x and y position of the mouse into the two variables called mouse x and mouse y. Now let's print out to the console. As you can see, we don't really have a state for the event because we don't really need a state we just want to get the variables I mean the position of the mouse into the variables so we haven't created the state because we're going to print out the position of the mouse every frame down the logic part after the if statement for the left click let's, uh, let's just print out the position of the mouse so I do an std double colon c out left comment and let's first output the string so mouse x colon and the end of the string left comment again the name of the variable we want to print out it's mouse x then a left comment again another string first we add a space so we separate after the variable has been printed we want to have a space then let's do a mouse y another colon space end of the string another left equivalent and then the an other variable we want to print out and that's mouse y then we have another equivalent in which we print a new line so another string which contains a backslash and an n for a new line so if we run this is going to constantly 
print out the position of the mouse. As you can see on the left, the X and the Y position. So the X is the horizontal line and it's 0 at the left and 800 on the right. So you go on the left part of the screen, it's really low, 0, and on the right it goes to 799. And the Y is the vertical line. At the top it's 0 and at the bottom it's 599 or 600 for the whole screen. And that's basically all the mouse events we have to know. And with this we have covered all the events we have learned how to use keyboard and mouse events. And we have also used states to separate events from the logic. Now with this we conclude this lesson on events. Uh, there are going to be um, text uh, text course, I mean text lesson on the course where you can find exercises for events and a video which will cover how to do those events. So I recommend that you go through those simple exercises where you just use the events to make simple stuff happen. So see you in the next lesson where we are going to cover rendering. Thanks for listening.